part while I'm out with the camera, thought I'd just do another separate video. Because I've done plenty of time. And I used to live just a few miles up the road, so we'll go from here. This is going to be going around about. We'll go from here. And if only they built Limmingskeg Stadium a bit uh, before I moved away, it would have been a nice little route for me, but the stop car did actually stop at that, as you see. Not a mixture of old, so we'll, we'll just have a ride home. It's not very long, it's only what, four miles, three and a half miles like that. So it will only take a few minutes. Several cars didn't make the bank one night. The garage, 
which was on the corner of the pub where that gate is. You can see in a moment, as I go pretty steady, there's a gate there now. Well, the garage was just there where you're looking at, where that pile of bricks is. That's probably the end of it, I don't know. And lo and behold, a blooming car crashed in the garage. So the poor blooming pub landlord, he had his car smashed up while he was in the when it was in the garage. Anyway, that's all the people just come past. You've seen the yard and the chapel. So uh, that's where my home was, you know. So we didn't have far to go, did we, if they built the stadium in the youth instead of train 20 miles on the country across. On the right hand side there's a chalk pit where a lot of my cars have been, been filled in now. Yeah, we used to take them down to the dump. I did just turn them on the roof and take them down to the dump. And here we are, we're nearly back to the cross. This mile of straight. It used to be great for going around testing cars. A friend of mine, before I knew him, uh, he tuned the first minis up ever. Um, and he used to bring them out about two in the morning and test them along around, around this triangle. So there we are. Right, so we're back to the cross. I think that's about the place to end it.